This section is to suggest some exercises to you that you may find useful to do through the day if you are sitting at your desk for prolonged periods. So we've got Pam here and we're going to start with neck exercises. So rotation is where you're going to just twist your head to the side, keeping your chin nice and soft and leading with your nose as far around as you can and then vice versa to the right. And back to centre, lovely. Side bends where you imagine that you're taking your opposite ear up to the ceiling, so you're bending over to one side, trying to keep nice and long through your neck, and vice versa. If you're prone to getting stiff through the day in the top of your back or bottom of your neck, you might find these quite useful. Posturally wise, another nice one to do is think about tucking that chin in. Pam has a lovely posture anyway, but thinking about if you tend to find that you're a chin poker, a nice one is to tuck the chin in and lengthen up through the back of the head and hold that for maybe three, four or five seconds, getting a nice stretch through the back of your neck. From your middle back point of view, quite a nice one is to work on your rotation. So Pam's going to keep her hips still and she's going to twist herself round to the right as far as she can. Going to grab the chair with the right arm, put the left hand on her thigh and give herself a nice stretch round to the right. And then she can do, obviously, vice versa. To the left. And back, lovely. A lot of us tend to find when we're sitting for long periods of time, we get quite flexed in our thoracic spine. So a nice one here is to work on trying to extend through this part of your spine. So you imagine a headlight on your chest that you're going to shine up the wall and just try and lift that chest and extend through the back in this area here. Don't worry about poking that chin fall forwards. Just keep that chin tucked in there. Lovely. And relax off. In standing, you can work on some shoulder movements or in sitting, but we'll show Pam in standing. So if you want to come with Pam, stand up, Pam. She's going to place her hands behind her back, just place her hands together and reach out and stretch those shoulders. Here, she's not trying to pull the shoulder blades together too far. She's trying to keep them nice and wide and not trying to arch her low back, just trying to apply that stretch through the shoulders. Lovely. And vice versa, she can bring her hands to the front, interlace the fingers and bring your arms up and over and try and stretch through those shoulders in standing. If you feel that you can, you can extend that into your low back as well if that's comfortable for you to do so. Lovely. Another one for the low back is to put your hands on your bottom. Other way around, palm, palms forwards. Yeah, so you're just here. And you're going to use your hands to gently push your hips forward so that you extend backwards and arch that low back. So just trying to arch through that low back to apply a stretch to that lumbar spine. And relax off, lovely. And if you can face the camera, Side bend's quite a nice stretch for you, so keeping your left arm by your side, you're going to reach the right hand up to the ceiling and continue as you bend over and slide your left hand down towards the outside of your left knee, trying to keep that pelvis fairly still, get a nice stretch through that trunk and vice versa. If your shoulder's slightly sore and you don't like that, you can do that without bringing the arm up, so just sliding your right hand down to the outside of your right knee, just applying that similar stretch to your low back without bringing that arm into it and come back off. Another one you might have found useful for the low back is to come and stand yourself against a wall. Do you want to come and stand against the door? Or a door or a filing cabinet. And stand with your hands at arm's length against the door. Keeping your arms fairly straight, you're going to keep your heels down if you can, and you're just going to let your hips drop forwards. So your arms are standing fairly straight, let your tummy drop towards the door, so you plan that nice, gentle stretch to your low back. You'll also get a nice stretch in your calves as well, unless you've got high heels, in which case you probably won't, and come back off. So you might have found those useful. If you find that either one or two or a handful of those are useful, then again, it's probably useful to try and do those a couple of times a day during your work day so that you're not sat in one position for, for too long. Thank you.